Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I want to show off um, a bit of an update to my Imperial Fist Force. Um, I know you've mostly seen most of this already, but there's some Eliminators which we've got to go through. I've also done a bit of more customization on some of the Intercessors. Um, I actually just want to show off this, what we've, what we've seen here now. This is a thousand points worth of Marines. Um, I'm actually doing my first ITC um, event at the end of the month. Really looking forward to it. It's a double ITC event. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's the first ITC I've ever been to. Um, but also, as well, I want you to help me pick uh, the next force for my last war protocol. I've got some decals I'm going to show off at the end of the video. And um, we'll go through them all. And I want you to pick the ones from there. I'm going to put up a poll in the description of the video. And um, yeah, we'll just go through it all there. So let's jump in and uh, we'll start looking um, at these models. Okay, so let's start, of course, with the new guys, as we always do. So... Um, if you've been following me on social media, you'll know by now that I've been doing some Eliminators. Um, and I've um, been doing them as the last Fusilier guys. Well, not not this guy. This guy's the Sergeant. I did him with a Carbine. I have some plans to use with the Carbine tactics and stuff like try and draw people in. And do the, the tactical fallback and stuff. You can see the capes I did. I did them like very industrial grey to try and match like the environments really. To try and match like the stone bases. Really, because I, I thought like if, if these guys are going to be sniping and stuff, like the more going to be like low down to the ground, lay down to the ground, all that kind of stuff. And um, since this guy's a sergeant, I'm going to have him like kind of give up his shooting phase because that's one of the things you can do with the rules. And it makes these chaps to uh, hit and wound, if I'm not mistaken, on twos. So that's why like I gave him like the little binoculars, like he's like shouting out targets for the for the other two guys. If we just get the other two over here for a second, you can see him. So this is the one that's just stood up on the rock over here. You can see that again, the base, the snowy bases. Um, um, his face, like, looking down. I tried to do, like, a, like a little sniper pose. Again, his cape, very, that like, industrial, muddy, gritty, bits of snowflakes on it and stuff like that. Um, all the way around. There we go. That's, that's another one. And if we just get the last one over here. This guy's like crouched down on the on, on the ground, so you can see. Very low down to the ground. I, I actually really, really like this pose. This guy's like, again, look, looking right down the end of the barrel. Um, again, snow on, on the back of the on, of the capes and stuff like that. Just to um, hopefully help him blend in to the actual environment. Yeah, so um, I'm, ve I'm very impressed how they turned out. I was, um, I was a bit worried how it would look with the bright yellow. Because, of course, when you come to paint... Eliminators, it's all supposed to be about stealth and everything like that. And <laughs> having bright yellow armor was probably going to make you stand out. But I thought to myself, you know, we're, we are Imperial Fist. At the end of the day, we have to give the enemy some type of chance to fight against us. So, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll just keep our bog standard yellow armor. I actually was going to paint him in black, but I thought, no, I'll, I'll, I'll go against that. And I'll... Um, I'll just uh, keep them um, as is. Right, um, just move these tanks out of the way for a second. We've already saw my executioner tanks. I love them. Executioner tanks are amazing. I just want to show off these guys real quick. I know there's nothing really new about this, but what I've added, I've added some of the tactical markings on now and uh, squad markings on the side. So it just, I don't know, it, I, think, I think it really helps them bring it together a little bit more when, when you have the tactical markings on, actually on, on the squads and stuff. Um, when I go to this ITC event, I don't think I'm going to get a lot of uh, good game votes because this list is very, very naughty, let's say. So I'm hoping that um, if I get anything or I get placed anywhere, like I'm, I don't think I'm going to get, I'm, well, I personally don't think I'm going to win or anything like that because, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a noober when it comes to all this kind of stuff. But if anything, I would kind of like to like get placed for, like I don't know, like top 10 in like nicely painted armies or something. So... That's what I'm trying to go for. I'm going to try and make all my guys look very, very cool and stuff like that. Sorry, it went a bit blue there. But there, there you go. You can see it. Squad markings on there. Squad 1. I've actually got another 10 to do. I can't really do it on this guy because, of course, he's got all the studded um, um, sh shoulder pads and all that kind of stuff um, on here. Right. Um, for the actual list itself, this is a 1,000 points. Um, these guys are all have stalkers, so we've got five intercessors with stalkers. We've got the last fusiliers with, uh, with of course, two last fusiliers, one bolt carbine, and um, lieutenant and chapter master. Both have stalker bolters. Please ignore the sword and shield. That's just the rule of cool. And we have two fully fledged out 
um, executioner tanks. That comes together at 1,000 points. I'll actually put the the, the, like the proper list um, in the comment section if you want to go through all, but all together it comes to 1,000 points. It hits the nail right on the head. So um, I'm very, very excited about that. My my friend, my partner, who's going to be doing the other side of the 2 verse 2 he is going to be bringing Raven Guard. So that's what he's going to be having. And um, I'm really, really looking forward to see how the Imperial Fist and Raven Guard work together. He's bringing a lot of troops that can get behind the lines and, you know, do all that kind of Raven Guard tactics and stuff like that. So it'd be nice for me putting on the firepower from a distance and him getting up close and bringing the pain. I'm, I'm really, really interested to see how that actually works out. Right, let's go to the, the last part of the video real quickly because I want to get the decals out and I want it, I want you to help me um, not only pick the decals but also help me what units I should have in my chapters for the last wall. So give me a second, let me cut the video and I'll be happy. Okay, and we are back, brothers. So uh, I'm just going to show off some of the decals that I've already used in my last wall, so please just disregard these. By the way, all the decals I'm about to show off are from the same place. These are from the same place as well. Scumbag Customs, for those of you going to be asking in the comment section, Scumbag Customs, his link is in the description. Go and check him out. He's over on Facebook. He does custom chapters. He does, you know, chapters like are, are already out like this. My Excoriators, my Crimson Fists, as I've mentioned. So I've already done a 10-man squad of Excoriators, and I'm happy with them. Again, I'll probably do a vehicle along down down the road sometime no idea when but i'm just happy where they are at the moment with my crimson fist i've done a five-man um uh, veteran squad with a lieutenant again same same as excoriators i'll probably do a dreadnought or something much much more down the road with them but um for now i'm, I'm just happy that I've, I've got a nice little force of them um, um in the last wall armor now if we bring the next ones forward i'm sure a lot of people will recognize these so first off first off first off um the hammers of dawn now, I'm a massive fan of the Hammers of Dawn. And these decals, you can see here, look, you can see how shiny they are and gold they are. So it's, it's really that effect. Lately, well, in, in, in the latest edition of um, 8th edition, they did the um, Hammers of Dawn with a kind of an orangey tinge. But from the old school stuff, for me, they've always been that like kind of um, black and gold. So I went with, the, of course, the, the black and gold variant. And that's what I'm going to be going with here. So you can see the decals. Right there, Hammers of Dawn, he's done a fantastic job. So that is one of the options uh, we can do. One of the next options is, of course, um, the Invaders, for those of you who know who they are. Really, really cool. The green. I've always wanted to do green in my army, so may maybe this is going to be at the top of my list. Again, it's down to you chaps to help me out. And uh, Next, of course, is the Celestial Lions. My good God, these guys are not good against Orc Snipers. <laughs> Just kidding. Right, um, so yes, uh, Celestial Lions. I, I, I love painting gold. I've got a full army of custodians. Golden Boys are the best. So maybe um, Celestial Lions will take you a favor. Now, this next one may cause some controversy. Let me just slowly... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, we did it. We did it. Sons of the Phoenix, brothers. Um, there's a lot of debate about the Sons. Are they? Aren't they? What is this heresy? Are these the chapter that I should do next for my last war protocol? Sorry, I just had to cut back and then someone shot me downstairs. My daughter needed me for something. So here we go. Uh, we have the four decals uh, on what to do next for my last war force. Now, before someone posts in the comment section, Varak, how dare you not include Black Templars? Don't worry, brother. Black Templars are coming. I'm actually getting some custom green stuff on some Black Templars. I can't do green stuff. So a chap is helping me out on the internet. He's going to be doing all the robes for me. I know where to get their decals. I've actually got decals of um, the Black Templars off the Imperial Fist um, um, Horus Heresy decal sheet. I've got, like, I've got a couple of them um, in my cabinet just for backups and stuff like that. So I will be using them on that. So they will be coming at a later stage. But just for now, I need your help on what to do next. So if you can put in the comment section maybe, like, go Invaders, Hammers of dawn celestial lions sons of the phoenix um yeah please help me out and also i want you to help me out on what i should do with them like what it should, should i do these as hell blasters should i do celestial lions as reavers should i do the hammers of dawn as i don't know maybe get some hammers and just kit bash them and do some like a rule of cool custom guys you help me out help help me decide and um, this is where you come in and you can help me with my project and hopefully we can build something awesome together. One thing I, I am thinking of doing with the Sons of the Phoenix is that there's a Sister of Battle model coming out um, where she's like on like this uh, floaty um, eagle um, thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, I'll actually post, put it on the screen now so you can uh, check it. I'm thinking of buying that, slinging the Sister of Battle off it, 
and then maybe putting a space marine on there and like really dolling him up and having him as like the official chapter master the sons of the phoenix like that's how he gets around because i i, I don't know why but every time i see sons of the phoenix i just think like they're so pompous like the emperor's children because that's where my um, are they really emperor's children so i'm thinking like he would like come into the battlefield with this like this massive floating monument of like yeah we are here brothers to purge in dawn's name so yeah that's what i'm thinking um uh, for the next stage of my army right here it is thank you for coming thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it of course give me all your thoughts feedback help me out with the next chapter in my last wall help me what unit i should do post it below vote on it in the comment section and um yeah give me some feedback on my um thousand point itc um doubles list as well i really appreciate that thank you for coming thank you for watching see you in a bit and bye bye